it doesn't mean, okay, everything's behind us. I mean, st- people are still going to get infected on the way down, you know, just as many on the way down as is on the way up. And, you know, and, and some of those are going to produce severe, severe illness, right? It's, it's, um, it's, it's not something to take lightly, but we will likely not have subsequent peaks. We're likely going to be heading down uh, for the, you know, foreseeable future. The future beyond that becomes a little, little bit more uncertain, uh, you know, due to two factors primarily. One is the evolution of the virus, and what's that going to look like four months from now? Um, we just can't really say. Um, the other, the other um, uncertainty is how willing is the, you know, population as a whole, uh, willing to embrace boosters and getting on a regular schedule with that. Omicron is 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 not something we want to take lightly just because it's causing less severe illness, even if you and your family are, are healthy and boosted. And, um, you know, it's not something to fear. Uh, however, um, what we do want to worry about is particularly with spreading it to others uh, in, you know, others may be trying to avoid it because they're one of these, um, you know, folks that are immunosuppressed or have other significant underlying health conditions and they're trying their best to avoid it. Um, if too many of us get it all at once, it doesn't give them much of a chance to avoid it. 